Have you learned how to play Siamese Mahjong yet? You know, when you get 28 tiles, sometimes it takes a little while to figure out what to play. You could do an exercise that I call Siamese Sprints to kind of quicken your decision making. If you have a set at home, give it a try. or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone out with a stopwatch app on it. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and then laps two and four will be set up. We'll say we're the dealer for these exercises, and I'll get 28 random tiles for the first sprint. Okay, here we go. I think um, we could maybe play News with Dragons already right there. And then the next, I think, 2468. Let's see how many discards we have. 2468. So this would leave us with. I'll put those up there. Ten discards. That's not bad. I'll take it. So news with dragons, and then a two, four, six, eight. And I would not pick a hand. We could always even switch to like numbers with fours here. If you would do something different, let me know. If I think if I had two dots. I might consider the year hand with dots and news, but I want to leverage these dragons. If I had a four crack, I might use the dragons with like numbers and do a year hand. So I think probably I would hold the ones for a potential year hand up here and get rid of these first. If you would do something different, write sprint one in the comment section below the video. We are going to do sprint two. Okay, so what I would probably do here, we have a one, two, four, west, six. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, with all those jokers, I would want to play a quint maybe. One, two, three, four, quint. Consecutive run quint right here. This would be the fourth quint down. And then here I would play the news year hand. This would be joker bait. Okay, one, two, three, four, quint. This hand is even set. All we need is a three crack. Well, we need to quint, quint the one, quint the four, and then we'd be ready on a three. So quint, consecutive run quint, and then news with the year hand. We'll put that in order here. I guess we don't need that. And then use these as joker bait. Eight discards. If you would do something differently here, write it in the comment section. I like this hand, this consecutive quint hand. That's a fun hand to play. It's hard though. Let's see how many points. 
That is a 45 point hand. Very nice. Okay, look at all these winds and dragons here. I think, uh, let's see, we have a three, pair of threes. Here's a pung of twos. I think a two, four, six, eight hand. And then news with dragons. I think I would play news with dragons here. And then maybe two, three, four, five. Let's see how that looks. Joker bait. Two, three, two. Ooh, look at two, three, four with dragons. I think I would play two, three, four, and then just use the dragons in that Joker and see. If we could do news with dragons, maybe use the red down here. If the consecutive run, the knitted consecutive run hand with the dragons, the second from the bottom comes in, leveraging the two, four, three, and the red. It would be nice if we could get a white dragon in here and, and use this red down here. And then this, of course, would be joker bait. Those would all be discards. So... We really, if we went with two, three, four, we would have an additional four tiles. So we'd have 13 discards, including Joker bait. So this, this may not be a winning combination, but there's lots of flexibility here. We could even maybe do two, three, four mixed suit Kongs and use this down here or hopefully draw in more flowers. Let's see how things went with the time. I think I made it. Sprint one, one minute 37. Sprint two, one minute 32. Sprint three, one minute 42. So I made it in under two minutes. If you are a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you're intermediate, three minutes. And then if you want to improve, push yourself into the other thresholds. If you're a beginner, try to make decisions in under three minutes. And if you're intermediate, try to make decisions in under two minutes. And if you're advanced, just try to consistently make decisions in under two minutes. It's not an easy task. Sometimes the tiles just don't work together and you really have to kind of play with them until something works. My goal is to have eight discards. So try to get to eight discards. I would say that is a really strong start for Siamese Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of Siamese Sprints using National Mahjong League rules, May all your picks be keepers.